Hey guys, it is me, Hepisoy again. Welcome back to Last Center Survival. So today we're gonna be opening up five purple crates, not two, not three, but five purple crates. But before we do any of that, let's go and let's do a raid. So we've got an raid named Paradise. And just from literally three second research, this looks like it's gonna be a massive base because check this out, this base is gonna have a bunch of and bunch of chests. But inside of the first chest here, we got already 12 first aid kits, I guess better than nothing. We're also gonna take a little bit of duct tape because that duct tape is useful for hatches and we need those hatches to get some ash planks. Also, this dude has a weapon stand, and inside of the weapon stand, we're gonna get a full durability VSS, we're gonna get a full durability minigun, and plus, we didn't even make any noise by chopping down these weapon stands. So I think we're gonna maybe start chopping down chests from over here, don't really know if that's a bright idea, but I... This video is brought to you by LD Player. If you're interested in playing Last on Earth Survival or many other mobile games on your computer, then consider checking out LD Player Emulator. It's lightweight and fast Android emulator for your PC where you can play mobile games with a mouse and keyboard. It supports multiple accounts simultaneously. So you can play Last on Earth Survival and other mobile games at the same time. You can download it from the official site and the link is available down in the description. Here we're gonna get already a bunch of iron, so that already gets my approval because I kind of started running low on iron. We still have about like maybe 300 to 600 iron at the base, so that's still a lot of iron, but we started dwindling our resources of iron. Before maybe we had like over 1000 iron, and inside of the second chest we're gonna get a little bit of steel and some copper bars, so let's drop those hatches and for some reason where are the wave of zombies oh we're only at 39 noise all right i thought maybe we made a bit more noise so let's open up the third chest and third chest is completely empty all right let's deal with another wave of zombies obviously using the snap transition speaking of the snap transition forget about the snap transition we're dropping stuff back inside of the chopper and most likely we are gonna die from this zombie correct yes let's take off all the armor again be very careful when you're doing this trick so i filled up my chopper with armor so now we're gonna die we're gonna spawn back at the base and then i'll be able to take out that loot from the chopper so we just died now i'm risking a lot because this base is insane but i look at this we spawn back at the base i can go to my chopper and we can take out all the iron we can take out that c4 and then we'll be able to go back to that base already and here in the warehouse we're gonna drop the iron some people are asking me psych where did you get that warehouse so during some sort of a season that warehouse was available i also think now it's possible to buy it in the shop if you do not have the warehouse but hey, enough about the warehouses we are back here at the base let's leave this chopper real quick and before this guy attacks me, let's get back to my body. Let's get this. Let's equip the armor. Let's take everything. No, no, no. Let's get the Glock and let's deal with this floater bloater. Dunzo. So now you won't be able to repeat this trick again on this base. Because if I'm gonna die again, this base will disappear. So we are not allowed to die. Alrighty, let's start opening up other chests here. Let's open up these chests close to the wood. I'd love to get some planks. We have a couple of planks at the base, but I'd love to get some more. Hey, let's get them. If we're gonna get better loot, obviously we're gonna get rid of those planks. But I mean, for now it is what it is. At least I'm gonna get those planks inside of the second trunk here. We're gonna get a military backpack. Thank you, but we do not need that. Let's open up a chest here closer to the radio tower and here. Look at that, baby. That's what I was talking about. Here we're gonna get some first aid kits. Because I remember probably raiding this base maybe back in the days because... Or maybe I'm just confusing. A lot of bases sound the same. Alrighty, so we're gonna drop all of those first aid kits in the chopper. I'm gonna also drop probably a minigun. And I don't think I've even looted this guy's chopper yet. Yeah, I completely forgotten about it. Let's get the gasoline. And sadly, I did not bring any empty bottles. So if I brought some empty bottles, I uh, would have been able to steal gasoline here from this chopper. But hey... Sadly, no empty bottles, but I think we can continue opening up these chests. I maybe should have brought more hatches. Speaking of those hatchets, I forgot about them. Maybe should have brought more hatches for this raid. We got more carrots. That is pretty decent. I love it. Let's deal with another wave of zombies. So zombies are sleeping and the only thing I wish that this raid had were guns. Would be much better if we got like, I don't know, 20 MGLs in one of these chests. That'd be awesome. So here we're gonna get, ooh, a box. All right, let's open up this weapon crate. We got a Glock here. We got an M16. Obviously gonna get rid of these carrots to get that stuff. We got a SWAT armor chest plate. I mean, we could equip it instead of this tactical body armor. Then, then we're gonna mismatch it. Then the durability of that armor is gonna be different. So I'm not even gonna bother about it. Uh, here we got nothing useful these turret parts are all right but we have a couple of hundred turret parts at the base and there are still a bunch of chests left to open up well i think we're gonna start softening these chests then i'm gonna do two hits to this chest i'll do two hits to these chests and wait do i even have enough hatches for that we still have about yeah we have like four hatches that should be more than enough to soften all of these chests and open them up when the big one spawns i don't know if i'll be able to open up all of these chests but i'll open up as many chests as possible and then i'll do some research after i leave the base and if this base is gonna have something insane here then hey i'm gonna go back and get it if no then no, all I know is that I'm gonna chop down a chest over here 
And we got useless garbage. There was that electronic circuit. We do not need it. Here I got nothing. Let's heal up already. What do we got here? Nothing. Let's heal up. Nothing. Dude, stop it! We got nothing useful. Let's... Gotta heal up. Gotta heal up. Gotta open this up. First aid kit! First aid kit! Gotta get it! Gotta get it! Gotta get it! Gotta get it! Alrighty, we're gonna go around this place now. Um, do I even have enough space in the base? It would be really cool if we could put the big one in that thing. But we can't do that. I'm probably gonna heal up myself here real quick. Where's the big one? Where is he chasing me from over that side? Alrighty, I'm just gonna get go quickly here and take all of them. Didn't have enough time to take it. No, 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 no. We took everything, but I didn't have enough space. So let's try to leave this base. We're gonna add more first aid kits, obviously. Alrighty, so I've deleted some stuff. Let's heal up here already. Dude, the dude's already doing lots of damage, so I think two more hits, and uh, yeah, he probably can kill us with two hits. Nice, that was a good distraction. Let's get the rest. Dude, still two more stacks of first aid kits. I should have deleted even more stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna risk my life for those two stacks of first aid kits. I think we got in everything from the base. So I've done more research on this base. It looks like we've taken everything, so this base gets our approval. Welcome, welcome everyone to the raid number two. So I'm gonna park my chopper somewhere over here. So it looks like it's a pretty tiny base, but this base is going to have lots of chests. Just as always, I have zero clue what kind of loot we're gonna get inside of these chests, but I check this out. This room is gonna have eight chests, and I do not have a slightest clue how many chests we're gonna get inside of that other room. But hey, while we're dealing with these zombies, I think it would be wise for us to go here and drop that C4 in the chopper. Alrighty, floater bloaters are dead, and let's also chop down door over here. And here we're gonna get nothing, just a couple of benches. If I known, I would've chopped down the level one wall from that side, whatever. There's only the radio, so let's start chopping down these chests. Inside of the first chest, we're gonna get a little bit of planks, which, I mean, I'll take them. There's nothing else to take, so I might as well just take these planks. Inside of the second chest, we're gonna get some guns. Alrighty, so this base just went from something eh to actually pretty decent. Do we have an entire SWAT armor here? Yes, we have an entire SWAT armor. And do I have enough durability in the current armor? Not really. So probably after we deal with these wave of zombies, I am gonna take that armor and I'll equip it on me. That would be probably the smartest thing to do. We got some bricks, which hey, would be cool if we needed those bricks. We do not really need those bricks. If we ever need those bricks again, we're gonna start picking them up from raids. Even though right now when we have the warehouse, I could take those bricks and just drop them in the warehouse. So if I don't get anything else, maybe I'm gonna take those bricks with me. I don't know. Who knows? Because I don't know. Say, so let's open up the fourth chest. Inside of the fourth chest, we're gonna get only 13 iron. Not too much. Wish we got at least an entire stack. Wouldn't be so sad to bring like only 13 iron to the base. Bringing a stack is much better. So let's open up now the sixth chest here. We got a little bit of gasoline. We got some electronic circuits. Alrighty, we got an engine. I'll take it. Why not? Alrighty, and after this chest, obviously, Bob of Zombies is gonna spawn. Here we got some pieces of cloth and some leather, which I will take. I wish we got some thick cloth because I kind of started running out of thick cloth to craft uh, tactical armor. So I'd prefer to get that instead of leather. But even then, we are st started running out of leather as well because I started crafting lots of machetes. We started cleaning lots of locations with melee weapons, so we just got rid of all of our weapons. I mean, we've used all of our melee weapons, so yeah, we started crafting them, and they take a lot of it, a lot of resources. And and what did we get here? We got some more food. Obviously gonna fill up the chopper with guns, with gasoline, with melee weapons. So I wanted to take more bricks, but I didn't take those bricks. I took the food, so these are the items that I took with me. So you know what? This raid gets my approval. So we're about to go to the raid number three, but before we do this, we need to go and kill three bulls because that's what raiders asked us to do. But hey, luckily we have already cleared the entire farm location, so we can just go and kill them. Again, for those who didn't know, bulls really don't drop anything. I'm pretty certain there are some of you that have never killed a bull, because why would you do that if bulls don't drop anything, but hey, literally, this bull dropped nothing. Wish these bulls dropped something useful, but hey, check this out. I want to show you another trick on how you could kill these bulls. You know what? Just in case something happens, in case you aggro these bulls. Again, the best trick is just to leave the map and then these bulls are gonna go back to their place. So you just leave the map and you come back and that's so you won't have to fight them, but if you woke up today and you wanted to search for some adventures, you can even wall trick these bulls. Check this out. The bull is over there and you can wall trick the bad boy from this side. Just be careful because they do quite a bit of damage. I'm actually gonna show you how much damage they do. They do 68 damage. So basically this is like the Frenzy Giant. Actually a bit e easier than Frenzy Giants. I have no idea. Let's go, let's pop that bull here. Go, we killed it. But before we go to that raid, let's quickly hop to the motel. But Zach, why 
motel. Why? So for those who don't know, motel is a really nice place to get one free grenade. So why not get it? I'm gonna quickly drop the propane tank over here. We're gonna explode it, and then I'll get one free grenade. Again, you need to have your burglar skill to be able to open up that door. So not everyone will be able to get that grenade. But if you have your burglar skill, obviously 100% come here because it's a free grenade. And for those who don't know where you can use those grenades, use those grenades on 99 waves in police department because that's where we're gonna get those five purple crates. Excuse me, five purple cards. Well, it's the same thing. Purple cards, purple crates. All what matters is that here we've gotten a grenade. So, hey, come to my pocket. We're back at the base and we are ready to go to the raid number three. But before we do that, I am gonna go and consume these fish steaks because they have a buff. Basically, make less noise during a raid for 15 minutes. It also depends which kind of fish you're gonna cook here. So, we're gonna eat this. We're gonna start cooking brand new carbs and purchase. So, let's start cooking that. Just in case if you're interested about all the recipes, check this out. You can check out all of these recipes here. All of these recipes give different buffs, etc, etc. But basically, this is one of the more useful buffs because you can eat it and you'll make less noise. From what I understand, you're doing about 10% less noise, so you should be able to open up like one extra chest. So I finally, welcome to the raid number three. Doesn't really look like this base is extremely massive, but it does require one C4, so probably I'm gonna place it somewhere over here. But again, don't judge a book by its cover. Even though we're all judging it. I'm judging it. You're judging it. Everybody's judging the book by its cover. And the same thing applies here to bases. So this base is gonna have one, two, three, four, five chests. That's it. You gotta be kidding me. Five chests. But still, that's not the worst base. If you've seen the live stream, I was able to get a base that's three by one. And we got only one chest inside of that base. Or maybe two chests. I don't remember. All I want now is to get a one by one base where we get only one chest inside. That would be the sickest raid ever. But here we're going to get a little bit of water that I can use to, to, to get some cement at the port location. Alrighty, let's open up another chest here. We're going to get some gasoline. Hey, lovely. We're going to get a stack of duct tape. We're going to get a little bit of thick fabric, some red tickets, and an electronic circuit that we'll be able to give to the raiders. So even though it seems like we've gotten lots of loot there, but it's just kind of goop, kind of garbage. We don't need any of that, but we're still going to bring it better something than nothing. Here we're going to get a piece of cloth. We're going to get more pieces of cloth to craft bandages. A little bit of berry tea that we do not need. I'm never gonna forget when somebody told me that hey, Sayak, berry tea is kind of useful because you can cook it and you will pee less when you drink it. I mean, who on earth would do that? But hey, let's try to somehow, some way escape this base now! Look at these schmucks pouring in. Now we'll have to fight them. You gotta be kidding me. No, 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 I'm gonna escape this base. Ain't no one stopping me. So we're back at the base and the morning is coming here to last on Earth survival. So that's the perfect moment for us to go and open up five purple crates. So yeah, let's take these 35 blue cards and let's take a bunch of green cards. So we will require 150 green to exchange them for 15 blue, which again, it just pains my heart to do that. But it is what it is just for the sake of education and for the sake of entertainment. Entertainment, edutainment. <laughs> let's go. Let's open up five purple cards. So we're gonna exchange all of these green for blue. We have exactly 50 blue cards. So that's going to be at least 100 guns. That's gonna be exactly 100 guns. So it's already not worth it to exchange these 50 blue for five purple cards because till this day people are saying the Cyric purple cards are amazing. How are they amazing when I'm exchanging 100 guns for like five purple? But hey, we've done this. <laughs> we've done it, baby. Now let's go. Let's open up these five purple cards. I'm gonna be happy with whatever blue blueprints that I don't have because I have almost all of the blueprints. I don't have my Glock power shot, Glock leg shot, and I don't have my AK knife blueprint. I don't have some of my melee blueprints. I don't really know if you can get all melee blueprints inside of these purple crates, but I do know that it's possible to get at least a saw blade mace engine blueprint or whatever that's called. So without any further ado, let's open up the first crate and here we're gonna get side times eight blueprint. Again, it's cool that we got four guns here, but you just saw yourself, I just exchanged 100 guns for these four guns or like whatever. We're gonna get here 20 guns. So it doesn't matter. Guns here don't matter. What matters are the blueprints. And we didn't get a nice blueprint there. Let's open up another one. Sight times four. Sorry, that was sight times eight. Sight times four. Check it out. Now it's gonna be sight times two. Now we're gonna get a tactical upgrade. We got here an M16 Glocks and shotguns. Kind of all right. Here we got a sight times four blueprint for my scar, but we already have it. But hey, at least here we got some Uzis. We got shotguns, Glocks, M16s. Luckily, we aren't getting any Winchester, so that's better than nothing. And let's go. The last crate, please give me at least something. Dude, I've opened up so many of these purple cards now that... I'm losing hope. I'm losing hope. We got another M16. Silencer, dude! I wanted to say that it's a nice blueprint, but no, Silencer is one of the worst blueprints for your M16. So I highly suggest you checking out this last Dinner survival video where I rated seven bases. So click on the second card and you'll go to my The Last Stand Aftermath Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.